Hey, it's Nathan with crazyeyemarketing.com. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the countdown timers within ClickFunnels 2.0. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. So here I am on a sales page that has an order form on it, and I wanna go ahead and add a countdown timer to this page. So all you have to do is come up here and we'll go ahead and add an element, and then we can search for countdown, countdown, and click it, and there we go. We have a countdown timer on our page. Now let's go ahead and click into the settings here because there's several settings we can go ahead and discuss. So there are a couple different timer types. I do have another video on calendar events because this is more sophisticated and it allows you to create basically deadline funnels that you can send emails that correspond to your countdown and everything else. And it's pretty sophisticated so it requires its own video. So link in the description if you want a more intense countdown and calendar event. But for this video, we'll talk about your countdown and your evergreen countdown. So starting with countdown here, Basically what this will do is count down to a specific date and time and once it reaches that date and time then some sort of action will take place depending on the settings that you set. So we can see right here that the end date is January 15, 2024. You can go ahead and set an end time for you know whatever makes sense for your particular promotion and of course you can go ahead and select your time zone as well and you can see after changing these times right here my timer is now counting down I have 25 minutes and 40 seconds before it expires and then after it expires we have some different options so we have the expire action right here so we can show or hide content after expiration so we can go ahead and select different elements to show and different elements to hide upon expiration. So let's say that on expiration, I wanna go ahead and hide this order form right here. So in that case, I could go ahead and select on hide and then hide this checkout element. So after expiration, checkout element will hide. And I could go ahead and add another element. Let's go ahead and add a headline and we'll say, sorry, you missed the super awesome deal. And so we have that right there and we're gonna go ahead and click on settings here. And I'm gonna not show this one. So it's gonna hide on all devices. But then come back up to your countdown timer and we can go ahead and say show. And we can go ahead and show that headline upon expiration. So the checkout thing would be hidden, but then my headline that says, sorry, you missed a super awesome discount will now be showing on that page. So you can use the countdown timer to hide different sections, rows, and elements when it expires. So that's one way to go ahead and use the countdown timer. And of course, there are various display settings as well. You can show the years, months, weeks, days, and so on. So you can customize it to your heart's content. You can show the time or the labels and change the sizes and everything else. You're used to being able to adjust when you're adjusting your elements. And I'm not gonna go into great detail on those in this video because it's pretty self-explanatory. I have a bunch of other videos that discuss elements that you can go ahead and check out if you need to. Alrighty, the other timer type is the evergreen. So this would go ahead and automatically reset based off of whatever parameters you select here. So it resets monthly or weekly or daily or on page load. So you can have a recurring like product launch that starts at the beginning of every single month. And you can go ahead and set up a workflow so you can start sending emails at the beginning of every month in order to coincide with your evergreen countdown. So you could get pretty sophisticated and automated a lot of these product launches if you really want to and so you can set the reset day as well so it covers all the different days of the month the reset time so whenever you want to reset it your time zone and then we also have the expiration action and instead of doing show hide this time we're going to go ahead and redirect to url so in this case when your timer expires it'll automatically redirect them to another page so for example you could go ahead and send them to another funnel that has the product at full price because of course they missed the super awesome discount because they didn't come by it before the timer clicked down to zero and we have another option right here for revisit action so if they come back to this page what do you want the timer to do the default is to auto reset the timer so maybe if you're doing like a really short timer on your page like a three minute timer you would want it to reset every time they came to the page so that way they had three minutes to look at the page and buy something but more than likely you probably want to go ahead and set it to never expires so that way the timer counts down based off of 
your settings at the top here. And just because they come and visit the page at another time, doesn't mean that the timer is going to reset. So there's a couple different options right here, but never expire. Seems to be like the norm. And then we have all the same display settings and everything else that you could go ahead and customize to make the timer look how you want it to look. So that's pretty much it for the countdown timer. Again, if you want to look at the calendar event, which allows you to create deadline funnels, I have a whole other video on that. So link in the description down below. Otherwise, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribe, and or head over to crazyeyemarketing.com and I hope you have a great rest of the day.